Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa, June 5th, and I have the pleasure of sitting in the ASD Gymnasium, the site of graduation tomorrow on June 6th, and I'm here with Kevin Sage, who is able every year to pronounce the names on the diplomas and watch as they come across the stage. We are here with seniors who are about to graduate, oh my goodness, and what I'd like to do is just pass the mic and ask you first to introduce yourselves and to say how many years you've been at ASD. Um, I'm Olivia Meese, and I've been at ASD for four years. I'm Spencer Romanowski, and this is my fourth year at ASD. My name is Jawahar Hajri, and overall, I've been at ASD for eight years. Hi, I'm Zuhair Sadik, and I've been here for five years. So we've got um, students who have a great deal of longevity with us, correct, Kevin? Yes, we do. Yeah. So, um, Kevin, would you start us off just as you think about the students who walk across the stage every year and you think about this particular group, anything that you would have to say to this group as they graduate and then we'll absolutely go from the most important, go to the most important people here and ask you some questions. Thank you. Well, as the, the biggest class in the history of the school, you then would potentially have the most impact when you go forward to your next stages in life with the university and your careers and so forth. So make the biggest impact you can. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So um, we have next year uh, a freshman class coming in of um, 150 plus ninth graders. As you think about your four years at ASD High School, what might be some advice that you would give those freshmen about how to have a successful high school career? And I'll pass the mic to anyone. The hair start us off. Well, I think uh, what's probably most important is time management. If you just get, if you use your planner and uh, have a, a plan about how you, about you're going to go about your business every single day, uh, everything, much get, everything gets much easier and uh, you can get things done on time as well as have free time to do other things too. I would say work to your potential. Everyone has a certain standard, and so always put your standard higher than you can. You believe that you can achieve, so you can achieve higher always. Uh, one thing, if I were to go back into high school, is work harder. That's definitely. And um, as Zahir said, be organized, set your planner, and with that, you'll be successful. Great advice. Uh, I think I would say you have to find a balance between your uh, your classes and your extracurricular activities. Um, I'd say get involved because there's so much to do at ASD that there's something for everyone. So getting involved really connects you more and you don't feel as like isolated. We know that um, that ASD teachers are very special and we know that they do an amazing job. Um, talk a bit about ASD teachers. What is it that, in your mind, makes them so special? Uh, I think what makes them so special is they're not just like teachers to us. I think a lot of times they end up being more than just teachers. They can you, you can relate to them. You can talk to them about anything, and they can become not just teachers, but also your friends too. Um, I agree with Spencer that it's very easy to relate to the teachers or at a teacher-student level, kind of. And so they're very easy to get along with and very easy to talk to. And so they're always there for you, no matter what. Um, the special thing about ASD teachers is that they're not just teachers you know, who teach off the curriculum. They actually teach you more than just uh, science or math or English. They teach you more about life and how you can be successful in life and how you can make it through with uh, being um, a positive, active, global citizen. Uh, something to add is that is they're not just there for the 90 minutes of class, but they're always there outside of class. Mr. Sage, if I have any question regarding physics, he's always there outside of class. <laughs> well, you know, as educators, we really, everyone in, in the school is here for you. We're here to see you in um, that moment tomorrow walk across the stage. And we think about our mission and our vision and our values and all that we do 
to get to the final product, which is you graduating. As you think about your ASD experience, talk about some things that you are taking away with you. Um, talk about those things that, in a sense, you are leaving um, with that hopefully we've done uh, a good job to instill in you. Uh, I think it's the idea of uh, responsibility and just being able to, I think it's because it's really a college prep school, so it's been able to prepare us, well, hopefully anyway, for uh, the next step at uh, college. And I think basically that responsibility is going to help us not just in college, but uh, for the life thereafter. Um, I agree with Spencer that they've taught us to be independent. Um, ASD has taught us to be independent and able to function on our own. So when we go out into the real world, we're able to do it by ourselves with no help from anyone else. Nice. Very nice. Um, after graduation, I hope to stay connected with ASD and uh, with Astrolab, the Qatari leadership uh, program at ASD, I hope to also mentor future students with, from the help that I've received previously. So that's something that I would take on. Well, this is an international school, and there are about 77 different nationalities in our student body. And so I've learned to respect other cultures, and I've learned a lot just by talking to other students and teachers and learning about different cultures. Mr. Sage, as you put it together and you think about this group, any last words for us? Just have fun. Yeah. En enjoy life after ASD. Yeah. Enjoy tomorrow especially. And just um, a last word, tell us what you're doing next year. Uh, well, I'm going to study at Northwestern. I'm going to be majoring in biology. Uh, it's a seven-year medical program. I haven't made up my mind yet. Um, I want to be a human rights activist. So wherever the path may take me, I'll be taking it on. So. I will be attending Taylor University in Indiana next year, majoring in exercise science. Um, I'll be attending the University of Oklahoma, and I'm going to major in speech pathology. Well, um, graduates, you do us proud. Tomorrow's your day, and we're here to celebrate you. So, happy graduation, right, Mr. Sage? Yes. Yeah. All right. And that's Sahipa for this week. Thank you.